are you doing? Yak shamash, so swehash. How are you doing, my fellow? a bit of a uh, more serious note um you know this channel is just an asmr channel so i don't really you know uh, talk about uh, politics or anything overly serious um i just don't really think it uh, is really has much of a place for it for the most part um but in this situation i kind of want to um just I mean, basically just say um, thank you uh, to the people of Poland um, for you know helping out and taking in um, people from Ukraine the refugees um, for just being welcoming and um, helping them out in this great time of need um, so I know I have a good amount of uh, Polish viewers specifically because of um, this series, uh, so I just wanted to thank you all, um, for being helpful and being open and, um, accepting to, to, um, your neighbors in, uh, one of their greatest times of need, so I just wanted to, uh, say thank you, um, for that, and, um, for those of you all who don't speak a whole lot of English, bear with me, so I just wanted to say, Kamche i Chinkuya Bosco i Tvoyam Ludium and also Ukraina i Yek Ludio Chio Kahayo. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the bread and butter of it and start learning some Polish with you all. I have my coffee here. Very manly. Um, mam moje kawe. Smachne. Okay, so first I'm going to get into a memorize right now and to continue learning. Okay, so what it is doing now is it says ocean. And I have to choose from four different choices um, in English. So I'm going to type or select eight. Now it is saying Cheshinch. And it has it spelled out as well. So of course in English, Cheshinch is ten. Okay, now it is saying in English, it is saying eight, like the number. Now I have to type that out into Polish. So I'm not going to do a very good job with this. So bear with me. Okay, O S I E M. Okay, I was pretty close. Ocean. Now it says 10 in Polish. Oh no, in English. Oh my god, because 10 is also a word in, in uh, English and Polish, but they mean different things. But 10 in English um, is Czesięć. This one says, Dasz mi swój numer. That is not an invitation. Please don't put that in the comments. Um, would you give me your number? Um, now it is saying six in English. Um, so I have Mitch, Mleko, Schwabi, I don't know. 
ششت صدای انصر ششت and then it says in English would you give me your number داش می شوی نومر داش می شوی نومر now it says Chevinch in Polish so my choices are to have to know five and nine I went with nine seven it wants me to type out seven in Polish um, again I'm so glad they have um, a way here that hold on to be autofocus I guess if I can get it right but um, I'm so glad that you can hit this button here and it'll kind of give you a little bit of a cheat so it'll say Oom. it'll give you a little bit of a cheat if I can click it anyway right um, Shedem I believe is what it is so I'm just gonna put an EM there and hopefully it works and it does uh, now it is saying in Polish mój numer to mój numer to my number is so that's teaching me a new word that it hasn't taught me yet um, now it's going back to sześć and I get to choose between six high slash by to drink to like or to enjoy so I'm gonna go with six sześć six my number is mój numer to mój numer to my number is my options are to know seven ten or a first name the answer is ten ten six I have to type out six in Polish I'm gonna cheat a little bit on um, SCS with the slash mark thing. Um, with the C, slash, slash. Okay, nine. Um, I have Mitch, Pinch, Shumnaki, and Jeffinch. I'm going with Chevinch. Okay, wonderful. Now let's do one more here. Uh, so this section I'm on is mostly focused on numbers, which is why it has me learning one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, zero. Um, and is asking like, what's your number? My number is, you know, things like that. Uh, so my or mine. Uh, it's giving me a few options. Mui, mu, swi, mom, nos, svoi. Mui is the right answer. Um, so, one's own, my own, your own. Um, I'm going to go with svoi. Svoi. Got that right? Okay, cool. Continue learning. I was just doing a review real quick on some things that I've messed up before. Anyway, I'm gonna go on to the next little section. So nine, it gives me four options to choose from. I'm going to go with Chevinch. And then it again says Chevinch. And I am going to click on nine. Um Dashmi Swinumer. Dash me svoi numer. Um, would you give me your number? Would you give me your number? Dash me svoi numer. Then it 
pizzas in Polish. Mój numer to? Mój numer to? My number is... Ten. It says in English. Ten. Dziesięć. My number is... And then I have to hit... um, I have to select a handful of... um, Options here, right? Mój numer... Da da da... To na trohe. I know it's definitely not trohe because, well, trohe means a little bit. That doesn't make sense. Mui nomer to. Okay, nine. I have to spell that out in Polish. It is Jevinch. Um, D C I E V. Oh my God, W in English. You know, whatever. Um, <laughs> sometimes when I'm like learning Polish and I see the the letter W in English, I think I'd out loud or in my head as V, because that's how they pronounce it in Polish, right? But I very well know as an English speaker that it's W. But I also know in Poland it's not W, right? <laughs> they call it something else in Polish. So, you know, but that's just different, you know, from my point of view, being native English speaker. Anyway, tangent. Um, D C I E V C E. No, 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 no. D C I E W I. Let me do this again. Okay. D C I E V W I E C. See, I do it all the time. Okay, anyway. Um, would you give me your number? Would you give me your number? Would you give me your number? Sensor on this one at the top of my head. Okay, hold on. Bear with me. I want to make sure I get it correct. Dashmi Sfui Numer. I don't know. I was struggling on that one. A ten in English. Um, I have to click for four options here. Just uchipie imie jeshinch. I'm going with just, which is wrong. It's jeshinch. <sighs> I'm not perfect, everyone. Ten jeshinch. Ten jeshinch. Again, it's testing me on it a couple times in a row. Jeshinch, Polish. I have to choose from different options in English, so I'm going to go with 10. Okay, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go over to Duo Lingo. Okay, so for this one, we are going to be focusing on household items so things that you can find around the house in your kitchen in your bathroom in your closet stuff like that okay so we're learning quite a bit of vocabulary in this chapter so this one says papier and i have to choose between scissors a magazine paper and newspaper now if I click on papier up here, it'll tell me paper in English. So I'm going to hit paper. Papier. Yes, paper. Paper is paper. You know what I'm trying to say. Papier is paper. You know what I'm trying to say. 
ok no shit chiki um, the options are magazine, paper, newspaper if I click on no shit chiki it says scissors in English so I'm going to hit scissors ok now it says tin fotel yes Rujove. ok then fotel yes to Rujove. um this armchair is pink then fotel yes Rujove. Rujove. then fotel yes Rujove. this one says chasha pishmo which is saying it is a magazine. Four options going with magazine. This one says Gazeta, which I click on to it. It says newspaper, newspaper, Gazeta, newspaper, Gazeta. Now it is saying in Polish, Gdzie jest mój gazeta? Gdzie jest mój gazeta? And without cheating, I am just going to go with, Where is my newspaper? Guessed correctly. Okay, translate this sentence. Um, who is drinking coffee? Kto pije kawę? Yeah. I am. Yes, them. Smachne. That means like tasty. Just, if you didn't already know that. Anyway, um, kawałek pomidora. Kawałek pomidora. That is a piece of tomato. A piece of tomato. Porchpuya no shichek. Um, so that is I need. I believe no shichek was scissors. Yep. I need scissors. Porchpuya no shichek. Porchpuya no shichek. I need scissors. I conveniently just had scissors laying here. Okay. Now it is saying out loud in Polish. It is not reading any of it. It is just saying it out loud. Piore kawałek mitwa. I'm going to listen to it again. Make sure I didn't miss a word. Biore kawałek mitwa. Okay, so I had six different words and various combinations that I could kind of choose from here. And I guessed correctly. I really guess, like it pieced it together, but you know what I mean. Um, I am taking a piece of soap. Interesting sentence, to say the least. Um, let me let me listen to that one again. Scenes. 
there does this mess just now. Um, yeah. Shh. Shh, but then, yeah, man. I know this word. I've learned it before. It's just a matter of remembering how to pronounce it. Yeah. Shh. Shh, prajayeme. Shh, prajayeme. Shh, prajayeme. Shh, prajayeme. Fotelli. Nia, shh, prajayeme. Fotelli. Yeah, anyway, um, we are not selling armchairs. Or we do not sell armchairs. So that's something you might hear if you're ever visiting a furniture store in Poland. <laughs> okay. Nie lubię tego czasopisma. Nie lubię tego czasopisma. Nie lubię tego czasopisma. Oh, we do not, or I do not, sorry, Seprasham, I do not like this magazine, which is probably true. I don't really read magazines, except for White Dwarf, maybe. I used to. But anyway, uh, that's another story for another day. Nie lubię tego czasopisme. I do not like this magazine. Nie mami pawek kartek. Nie mami pawek kartek. Nie mami pawek kartek. Nie mami pawek kartek. Um, we do not have a white sheet of paper. Sheets of paper. Okay. Yeah. Um. We do not have white sheets of paper. So in English, paper is singular and plural as well, right? English is weird like that in case, I guess, you know, if you're one of the Polish viewers, um, in English, let me see, I don't know. Let me get a few pieces of paper out. So, in English, paper, 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 one piece, yet, dwa, paper, paper, yet, paper, dwa, paper. We don't have a singular versus plural word for paper. I mean, yeah, we do. You could say papers. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm probably just going to cut this. Don't listen to me. I'm drunk. You know what? Actually, no, if you're saying like, hey, can you get the paper? And it's like a stack of paper, right? Then it's still plural. I don't know, English is weird. You can say paper or papers depending on the context. Like if it's each paper has different writing or words in it, then you can say, can you get the papers? Because each piece of paper has a different writing on it, right? Does that make sense? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna talk about it. Anyway, moral of stories, English has its weird things. Every language has its weird complications that like you don't really question really as a native speaker but like when you think about it trying to learn another language you're like that is weird right just like deer the animal deer one deer is deer two deer is deer three deer is deer we don't have a plural for that animal it's weird i don't get it it doesn't make sense anyway chitami kasete chitami kasete Chitami Gazette. I cheated because I had a brain fart. I kind of forgot. Okay. Chitami Gazette. Um, we do not read paper or the newspaper more specifically. 
Um, we do not read newspaper. We do not read a newspaper. Whatever, Duolingo. Cartica. Papiero. Cartica. Papiero. Cartica. Papiero. 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 Cartica. Papiero. Okay, so that is, uh, that is a sheet of paper. Yeah, like in English, we will say like one piece is a sheet of paper or a piece of paper. Yeah, paper's weird. <laughs> From a language point of view, I don't know. Anyway, um, a sheet of paper. Opietsie kawawek ribe. Opietsie kawawek ribe. Um, um, a boy is eating a piece of fish. Opietsie kawawek ribe. So, in learning the word piece, right? I could have just said, Opietsie ribe. The boy is eating fish. But if you want to specifically say the boy is eating a piece of fish, opietsie kawawek reba. Czyja jest kartka papieru? Czyja jest ta kartka papieru? Czyja jest ta Kartka papieru. Czyja jest ta kartka papieru? Okay. Um, so I have to translate it into English. Um, I'm going to put it as whose sheet of paper is this? Awesome. Whose sheet of paper is this? Czyja jest ta kartka papieru. Czytamy kasety. Um, we do not read a newspaper. Now I have to be careful with A's and Na's all of a sudden, even though I never did before, but okay, Duolingo. We need... We... Yeah. We do... Read. Wait, no. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. Bear with me. We read a newspaper. We read a newspaper. Chitami. Cachete. Chitami. Cachete. Chitami. Cachete. Chitami. Cachete. We read newspaper. Okay, I'm gonna call it quits, everybody. I've been at it for almost 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna say bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye. Just the Bronots, if you're watching this at night, um, Chintobra, Pa, the end. See you later.